ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೇ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರಣೋದ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ಕೃಪಾಸಿಂಧುಪೇವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚ ಲಂಗ ಪಂಗು ಲಂಘಯತಿ ಗಿರ ಯತ್ ಕೃಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದೇ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವಿ ತುಸಿ ದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸ್ವಚ್ಛ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿಪದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂ ಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋಧ್ವರೋನು ಧ್ಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವನಮಿಷ್ಟದೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರಂಚನು ತರಣ್ಯಂ ವೇತಾತ್ಯುಹಂ ಪನುತಪಾಲುಭವಾದಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚರುಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನಕಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಿಜೀತ ಕಮಿ ಗೋಪವಧೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮೈ ಕದಾಂಕರೋಸಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕಾ ಬುಧಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರೌ ಕಮಲಾಹ್ಯತಾಕ್ಷ ಭೀಷಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರೌ ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರೌ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಚ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಚದಾಸಿ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ್ನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷಿತ ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣೋ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗು ಮದಾಪಾರ ವರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ವ ಬದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ ಚ ಭಕ್ಷಿ ಯಸ್ಯಾಸ್ತಿಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬಿಹೀದ ಶಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ದುರ್ಗಮೇ ಪಥಿ ಮೇ ಅಂಧಸ್ವಸ್ಖಲೋತ್ಪಾದಗತಿರ್ಮುಹು ಶಾಕಿ ಪಾಜಷ್ಟಿ ದಾನೇನ ಸಂತ ಸಂತು ಅವಲಂಬನ 
दुर्गमे पथी में अंधस्कलोत्दगतिरमु शौकिपाजुष्टिदान सत सन्तु अवलंबन गौरिय गोष्ठीपति श्रीशिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमंश जगदगुरु टोल सो सो लॉन्ग एज वी आर इन कनेक्शन उथ अनंतेव नित्यदेव अनंतेव बलराम देन वी कैन स्टे पीसफुली वी कैन डू भजन सो लॉन्ग एज वी कैन मेन्टेन ए कन्स्टेंट रिलेशनशिप उथ अनंतेव टिल देन देर इज नो प्रॉब्लम द मोमेंट वी आर गोइंग टू the moment we are going to disconnect it from the moment the moment we are going to lose our connection with ananta dev balaram then different kind of dissatisfaction different kind of complaint can come in our life we can get displaced our from our position actually whole bhajan procedure depend upon this single thing how to get in connection with guru vishnu bhagwan continuously only this vital point on the basis of this vital point we can make progress but bonded soul usually they are going to get disconnected from guru vishnu bhagwan sometime they are thinking sometime they are losing connection this way there is no guarantee that they can do perfect bhajan that is the today is the basa puja day of my shiksha guru sisila bhakti vidanta bamun gushi maharaj according to shastra diksha guru and shiksha guru non different from each other according to scriptural analysis Shastra, even in Chaitanya Chaitanya, you can find that Diksha Guru and Shiksha Guru are non-different from each other. Prabhupad used to explain this point. Shamanda Gyan, Shamanda Gyan Data Guru Pat Padmo, Obidyo Gyan Data Guru Pat Padmo, same. Shamanda Gyan Data Guru Pat Padmo. and those who are going to teach me how to do bhajan obidya gyan data abo sen an ultimate thing i mean our ultimate goal we have to reach that is called that is called prayojan tattva so sambandha gyan data devota sandhu sambandha gyan data guru pad padma non different from obidya gyan data obidya shiksha data how to do bhajan ओबिदियो शिक ओबिदियो भजन शिक्षा दाता ओबिदियो मीन हाउ टू डू भजन संबंध मीन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू ग्रो योर रिलेशनशिप बिकॉज विदाउट ग्रोइंग संबंध ज्ञान इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल फॉर बॉन्डेड सोल टू डू भजन विदाउट ग्रोइंग परफेक्ट संबंध ज्ञान इट इज क्वाइट इम्पॉसिबल टू स्टार्ट भजन संबंध जानिया भजीते भजीते अभिमान हो दूर when i can discover my eternal relationship with my guru pat padma then naturally i can start doing seva follow in the material world husband of husband and wife relationship or mother or baby relationship children it's an automatic factor but this is not same as a prakrito relationship even by the power of maya devi by the magic spell of maya devi all bonded soul they can feel that this is my boy this is my daughter this is my husband 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 thing is my wife so according to this sambandha gyan automatically they they can discover their respective responsibility mother need not read one book a mother need not read one book to discover his relationship with a children how to do seva it's an automatic so mother can automatically start serving you know baby 
then husband can serve wife this way. This is the magic spell of Maya. According to the magic spell of Maya, everybody, all Jivatma, they are in res Jivatma means specially I am speaking about human being, though we can find tiger and elephant, they also have affection for children. They also, elephant, tiger, lion, you can find they have also affection for, it is the arrangement of Bhagavan. Though, though tiger going to kill you and eat, but not doing anything with a baby. Baby licking, so it's an arrangement. Automatic arrangement. So by the magic spell of Maya, we can, bonded soul, can, they can discover their relationship, respective relationship, respective duty, what to do, what not to do, they can, they can discover and accordingly they can, accordingly they can do. But main vital problem is that, due to the covering of Maya, influence of Maya, we are not in a position to discover our eternal relationship with Guru Vaishnava. Whereas, our eternal relationship with Guru Vaishnava is eternally present. Eternally present, but still we cannot discover. Due to the influence of Maya, we forget it. And what we need not remember, what we need not, you know, follow, that we remember. That we remember, but what we should not forget, that we forget. That is the main problem. According to this rules, Prabhupada speaking, until and unless we are going to discover our eternal relationship with Guru Vaishnava, Bhagavan, we cannot start actual bhajan. We cannot start actual bhajan, it's not possible. Shambhanda janiya bhajite bhajite. It is, it is after, up, it is after your discovery of your relationship with Guru Vaishnava, then you can start bhajan, I mean, first of all, many times I told you, you can start, you know, preliminary bhajan, preliminary bhajan. After that, you can start sadhan, sadhan bhakti. Preliminary bhakti you can start. After that, in course of doing, you can cut all anartha. Finally, you can start, you know, sadhan bhakti. And after sadhan bhakti, under the guidance of Guru Vaishnava, you can cut all relationship with material world and you can discover your eternal you know, seva there. You can leave body and go there. Today is the Avirbhav Tithi. Today is the Vaisapuja Tithi. Vaisapuja Tithi means, Vaisapuja Tithi means that today is the Guru Puja. But at Gur, Gaur Purnima, Gaur Purnima, you know, we, Gaur Purnima we do Guru, Gorang Mahaprabhu Seva and Guru Purnima, we do Guru Seva. So, Guru, Guru Purnima means overall Guru Puja. Many times I told you, there is two conception. You should remember, one is Bashti Guru, one is Samashti Guru. All Guru Tattva, if go back to the original point, original source, they can discover Baldaji Maharaj coming in the form of different Sadguru in four Sampradha, anywhere, four Sadguru. Baldaji Maharaj coming. So, overall Guru Tattva, all Sadguru Tattva, in Nimbarka Sampradha, Madhu Sampradha, Ramanuja Sampradha, Vishnu Sampradha, all their Sampradha, authentic Sampradha, you can find, you can find there is also Sadguru. Not that nowhere Sadguru. A Sadguru must be there. So, if Sadguru is there, in any four Sampradaya, four, all four Sampradaya, overall Guru Puja, overall Guru Puja, we can observe overall Guru Puja on Guru Purnima day. And respective Guru Padma Avirbhav Tithi, all your respective Avirbhav Tithi of, you know, Avirbhav Tithi of your Guru Padma, Avirbhav Tithi of your Guru Padma, all different Guru Padma. So we are going to do Vyasa Puja, Guru Puja, all your Guru Padma, Har Guru, all. But Sadguru, undivided Tartha, I many times I told Sadguru, undivided Tartha, the only the conception is uh, of Vyasa Guru and Samasti Guru, conception coming. Now Vyasa Puja, 
this conception already Guru Puja is already there in Shastra, Bhagavata, everywhere. But specially Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted to wanted to show us. Specially, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted to show us the great importance of Guru Puja, Vesa Puja. That's why in Shiva Sangan, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu started Vesa Puja system. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu started Vesa Puja system by the help of Sivas Pandit and Mahaprabhu giving instruction to Sivas. Tomorrow, in your house, in your mandir, there we can we can do Vesa Puja. Vesa Puja. We can do Vesa Puja in your in your temple tomorrow. And who can do Vesa Puja? Actually, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is a Supreme Lord. Though Mahaprabhu himself is Supreme Lord, Bhagavan Sri Krishna himself is Supreme Lord, same thing. But still we can say, Krishnam, Krishnam Bande Jagat Gurum. Krishnam Bande Jagat Gurum, we speak. Krishnam Bande Jagat Gurum, Krishna is the original Guru. Our follow. But still, Krishna Bhagavan or Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is going to send Nityananda Babu as Guru. Because different time at, at different at different situation, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted to indicate some devotee, some devotee paying Dandava to Gauranga Mahaprabhu directly, where Nityananda Babu is there. Gauranga Mahaprabhu become very angry. Why you pay Dandava? First you Dandava to him. First of all. That's why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself wanted to show us the importance, the great importance of Guru Tattva. That's why we in our Gauriya society have the system of Vesa Puja. Otherwise, Guru Puja is already there. Guru Puja already Vesa Puja means Guru Puja. Vesa Puja means Guru Puja. But the speciality is there. Vasudev Goswami is a Saktavesh Avatar. Vasudev Goswami is the Saktavesh Avatar. And Vasudev Goswami is going to divide different Ved, Vedanta, all Sastra in front of us. Vasa, Vasa means he is going to analytically divide everything for your benefit. Because bonded soul in Kalikal, they cannot go through all Veda, Vedanta, everything. They cannot, they cannot digest. It is impossible. All ocean. Because Shastra about Shastra, in, it is written, Ananta Param Kila Shabda Shastram. Shabda Shastra, Shabda Shastra, I mean Shastra is the ocean. Ananta Param Kila Shabda Shastram. Shastra is ocean. From ocean, how it is possible to ask to collect some pearl? Impossible. That's why, Vasudev Goswami could realize by watching the painful situation of those bonded souls in the material world, they are feeling different kind of problem. First of all, they have no stability, no belief. They, they are sick always. Their memory is very, very low memory. Just now we can see what is weak, they cannot remember. By watching this kind of problem, Vasudev Goswami took decision to divide all Shastra in different from Ved, Vedanta, Upanishad, Adi, Shal. After that, our Guru Bharga, like Sonatan Goswami Pad, Rupa Goswami Pad, Jiva Goswami Pad, they are also going to collect different kind of essence from different Shastra and going to make a cream for us. Nana Shastra Vichara Naika Nipuno Shat Dharma Sang Lokanam hitukar nauti bhavane manno saranyakaru. This, this way, Rupa, Sanatana, Vatrugna, Swaratana, Gusha, all, they are going to collect all the essence of different sastra and going to, going to, you know, present in front of us. So that way, even after that, even, even you have the scope, even you have the scope to go through Different writings of Sanatana, Rub, 
you know, Jiva Goswami, but still you cannot understand. You can understand? I can give you. I can give you different books of Jiva Goswami, Pad, Rupa Goswami, you can know what is written in Maharaj, what is written, we cannot understand, so complicacy. That's why we are so lucky. We are so lucky that Srila Sachidananda Bhakti Mura Thakur wanted to collect even more and more, you know, you know, you know, all, you know, cream, essence, from all those sastras. Even Goswami sastra is very typical for us. We have no knowledge, Sanskrit knowledge or grammar, so much intuition we should have, we should have so much memory, but we are very poor. That's why Bhakti Mura Thakur wanted to collect different, you can find, I, I refer, Jaiva Dharma, first of all, you can remember, Jaiva Dharma, Dashamul, Dashamul Siksha, Dashamul Siksha, Chaitanya Siksha Amrita, Mahaprabhu Siksha, follow, Nama Chintamani, all different kind of essence. So nice. Very easily we can open what is very, very critical to understand. We can open and Bhakti Thakur wanted to represent in such a way, such a way, if we have Guru Kipa, then we can realize. No Guru Kipa, no Guru Kipa, no Guru Kipa, then we cannot understand. Vital point. Guru Kipa is the vital thing. Without Guru Kipa, I can give you a lot of book is there. Lot of book you can go and read. I can give you, give you prasadam. Whole day and night you can read books. Whole day and night I can give you prasadam. You need not do anything. You can read and I can ask questions. You cannot do. That is why one very vital point Vishwanath Chakodhiva is speaking. Vishwanath Chakodhiva is speaking. Though, though we can try Though we can try, but still, without Guru Kipa, it is impossible to understand the inner meaning of Sastra. Without, we can read books, but we cannot get. And I, that day I told Chaitya Guru, Chaitya Guru, when Chaitya Guru is going, going to favor you, when Chaitya Guru is going to favor you, then all Harikatha, all everything you can realize. If Guru Kipa is not, not there, then how you can get, you cannot understand all Sastra, that's why all Bhakti Minut Chakur, Prabhupada, all our Guru Bhargo, they have, they have tried their best to represent all philosophy in a very catchy way. So catchy way. So if we can consider there is no aparat, no aparat is good. Aparat is their big problem. Aparat cannot allow us to do. So, Basa Puja system was, you know, especially started by Chaitanya Mahapu, though we know Guru Puja was already there. Even before Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, before mean when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared, when before Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared, before Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared, there was also the system of Basa Puja. Not that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu eternally present. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu eternally present in eternal world. So, here we can find that even before Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared, there was a system of Basafi. Even in Mayavad, even in Mayavad field, you can find even Shankaracharya. Even Shankaracharya, he also wanted to do Basa Puja. I can come to this point after. What is the fallacy there? So, Gauranga Mahaprabhu started this Basa Puja in Siva Sangan. Chaitanya Mahapu started Vyasa Puja in Siva Sangan and Nityananda Pu was appointed to do Vyasa Puja and from then onward we have the system of Vyasa Puja especially in all our Gauriya society. But our Vyasa Puja system, there is Vyasa Panchak, Adi, etc. there. So we need not play uh, over. Anyway, so Vyasa Puja uh, uh, our, you know, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Nityananda, Advaita Gosai, Shivas Pandit, you know, Gadadhar Pandit is also Panchatattva Vyasa Puja, also, this way. So, Vyasa actually, originally Bhagavan is there. Originally Bhagavan is there, coming in the form of Vyasa Deva. So, 
Vaisa Puja system is very important. So according to Vaisa Puja, we need to worship Guru Pat Padma. The Vaisdev Goswami is the representative of Guru. So from there all Shastra and the flow of knowledge coming to us, and all flow of knowledge, Bhagavad Parampara, Tattva Vigyan coming to us through our Guru Parampara. If my Guru Pat Padma is not in line with if my Guru Pat Padma is not in line with Guru Parampara system, Bhagavad Parampara, then I cannot get the power. Follow. If through Parampara, through Parampara, if you find that your Guru Pat Padma is in line, is in line with Bhagavad Parampara, then and only then you can get power. If there is some, this today morning time I was discussing there. If through parampara, if you can break the, break the, you know, parampara coming, in between there is some breakage. Suppose one guru fall down. Try to understand. Never mind. A spectacle thing. Suppose guru parampara, the utility of guru parampara is that, the teachings of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu can come to me in tact way. The utility of Guru Parampara is that the teachings of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu can come through our Guru Path Padma, Guru Bhar, Guru Bhargava, Guru Parampara in tact way. If I am not going to get the teachings of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu through Guru Parampara, then surely it is not Guru Parampara. There is some breakage. He will have to discover. If there is some breakage, then you cannot get connection. Power coming, if there is some breakage of Guru Parampara, some Guru fall down, then you will have to suffer. Then what to do? In that case, if there is fall down, you will have to search another Guru Patpad Mahabhagavad. You will have to accept. You will have to accept. Even not fall down. Even not fall down. Suppose your Guru Patpad is a lower level of Madham Adhikari. Every Shishya, I know, all disciples can think my Guru Patpad is unique. It is the general philosophy. Or each and every disciple should think that my Guru Padma is unique. Follow. But the scientific procedure I like to say, suppose my Guru Padma is Madhva Madhikari, lower level. In that case, I cannot get so much facility from Guru Padma. My Guru Padma will not fall down. Maybe Madhva Madhikari, low level. In that case, by the permission of my Guru Bhat Padma, I will have to follow another, another Shiksha Guru. Follow. Who is in Bhagavad Parampara? I am going to take permission, Maharaj. I like to know so many things, but you are not giving, you, if you can permit, then I can go to Paramahaja Siddhar Goswami Maharaj to take lesson from him. Okay, you can go. By the permission of Guru Bhat Padma, I can go to, you know, Learn so many shiksha, from Siksha Guru, that is okay. But regarding selection, but regarding selection of your Siksha Guru, one vital point should be there. You should remember that my Siksha Guru, whom I am going to accept as my Siksha Guru, he should have mutual respect with my Guru Maharaj. If he is going to hate my Guru Path Padma, then I cannot accept him as Siksha Guru. Follow what I say. If he is going to hate my my Diksha Guru, if my Shiksha Guru is going to hate my Diksha Guru, in that case I cannot accept him as Shiksha Guru. So this is a very vital point. So by the permission of my Guru Padma, many things I can from 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 different sastra I can give you, like Narottam Thakur. Eh? Loknath Goswami giving permission, Loknath Goswami giving permission to, Loknath Goswami giving permission to Narottam Thakur to go and, you know, and accept Jiva Goswami path as Shiksha Guru, no problem. Srinivas Pandit and Srinivas Acharya, Srinivas Acharya, he is the disciple, Srinivas Acharya, he is the disciple of Gopal Bhatta Goswami, Gopal Bhatta Goswami sending him eh, in front of, unto a lotus feet of Jiva Goswami Path, follow. Also, Samananda Prabhu, 
He is a disciple of whom? Samananda Prabhu is a disciple of uh, uh, Gauridas Pandit. After that coming, who oh, name? I forget. I, eh? Hidai Chaitanya. He is from here. Hidai Chaitanya Babu. So this way, they are all going to send their own disciple to Shikshagu. That's quite natural, it can be so. It is not, you know, because Shikshaguru can teach me. They are, in, they are, Mahabhag, they are all Mahabhagavad. North Mudhakur, his Guru Padpadma. North Mudhakur, his Guru Padpadma. Loknath Goswami, Mahabhagavad. Gopal Bhattu Goswami, Mahabhagavad. Hidai Chaitanya, Mahabhagavad. So, Bhagavad Parampara. Not that they are going to break Bhagavad Parampara. So, if there is any drop, if there is any breakage of Parampara, in that case you will have to be very careful. If you can accept, if your Guru Dev will fall down, then you will have to accept new Guru Padpadnu, Sadguru, Bhagavad, Mahabhagavad, genuine Guru Padpadnu, or if your Guru is Madam Adhikari, low level, then you can take permission from Guru Padpadnu and and uh, Parshu follow one on Shiksha Guru. In that case, you can get the connection. Suppose there is one breakage. You are driving your car. The road is breakage. Then you will have to turn, make a U-turn and go. Follow. You will have to make a U-turn and go. Otherwise, that's why when Prabhupada wrote Krishna, I don't know you are singing or not. Krishna is the Chaturmukh, Hai Krishna Sevanmukh, Brahma is the Narodhira Moti. This way you can find all Guru Parampara, Manto Parampara. All you can find Manto Parampara. After that, when Prabhupada coming there, Mahaprabhu Sichaitanya, Mahaprabhu Sichaitanya, Radha Krishna, Nahayana. From there, Prabhupada wanted to show that Manto Parampara always and every time not possible. There can be some breakage. In that case, you will have to follow Bhagavad Parampara. So, Mahaprabhu Sri Chaitanya Radha Krishna Nahe Onno, Rupanu Go Janero Jivan, Rupapiyo Mahajanya Jivarogu Natovahano, Tarpiyo Kavi Krishna Das. Krishna Das of Piyo Paro, Krishna Das of Piyo Paro, Narthama Seya, this way you can, Jivarogu Na, this way, Bhagavad Parampara. So, Bhagavad Parampara is more practical. Today morning time I was speaking, though, Though we can follow Manto Parampara, but though we can follow Manto Parampara, but still we should remember, still we should remember in Manto Parampara also, in Manto Parampara also, there is a vital secret thing. In Man Manto Parampara also, unknowingly, we are following Bhagavad Parampara. Though we are following Manto Parampara, but Manto Parampara doesn't mean there is no Bhagavad Parampara. Manto Parampara means Bhagavad Parampara. But Bhagavad Parampara doesn't mean Manto Parampara. Follow what I say. Manto Parampara surely means Bhagavad Parampara. Manto Parampara devoid of Bhagavad Parampara impossible. But Bhagavad Parampara, not necessarily you can say Manto Parampara. There can say, say this is a fallacy. So this way, today is a Vesa Puja, I mean Guru Puja of my Shiksha Guru Sisila Bhakti Vedanta Vaman Goswami Maharaj. Prabhupada used to say, Je, not that Tuesday, Prabhupada speaking, that not that today is a Vesa Puja day, so I can do Vesa Puja. Not that, Prabhupada speaking, not that today is Vesa Puja, so I can do Vesa Puja. Not that. Vesa Puja, Guru Puja is a regular function of a devotee, I mean disciple. Not regular, every fraction of second. You cannot believe. Baba speaking, that you can say every year, you can say that every year, every year this particular date, particular tithi, I can worship my Guru Padma. You can think so. You can think so that every year, this particular tithi, I can worship 
my Guru Padma, Guru Puja. But for a genuine disciple, but for a genuine disciple, he is always going to think that my Guru, Pu Guru Puja is always going on inside heart. Guru Puja always going on inside heart. Non-stop Guru Puja. The moment you are going to stop Guru Puja, you can fall down. Continuously. Continuously. Non-stop Guru Puja. What do you mean by constant Guru Puja? Oh, we are not going Puja. Because for Puja we need flower, you know, deep, dupe, everything. But, we need flower, everything, but you say continuously Guru Puja. What do you mean by, what do you mean by continuous Guru Puja? I like to understand. Because we know for Guru Puja we need flower, we need so many fruits and flower, everything you can go, Guru Padma there or Guru Padma, you know, deity. Then we can do. But you say continuous Guru Puja. What is the secret philosophy bit? Continuous Guru Puja means your darshan should be Guru Darshan. Don't understand. What do you mean by continuous Guru Puja? Continuous Guru Puja means that each and everything you are watching, feeling, collecting everything, you can think it is the item of Guru Puja. Everything, whatever you see in the world, man, woman, money, position, building, whatever you have, you can think that it is Guru Puja item. I mean, you can find, you, you can find, you, you should have Guru Darshan, not Maya Darshan. There is two type of Darshan in the world. There is two type of Darshan in the world. One is Guru Darshan, heavy Darshan. Heavy means Guru Darshan. All objective, all Guru. You can discover all Guru everywhere. If you are going to do some dirty, if you are going to do some very dirty, you know, thing, you are going to do, in that case, Sadguru, eh, you know, Sadguru like to deliver you from that place. Of course, if you have some love for Guru Path, if you are going to do some wrong job, wrong thing, then Guru Path will like to rectify you, like to deliver you. Guru Prabhupada used to say, if you, even if you go to hell, you can see me there. Even if, even if you go to hell, you can see me there. That's why Bhakti Vinod Thakur writing, na? That's why Bhakti Vinod Thakur, na? What are you writing? Poshu pokki hoye thaki sarge ba niroye. Poshu pokki hoye thaki, I can take bird as a pashu, beast and birds. Poshu pokki hoye thaki sarge, even in heaven or hell. That's not a big issue. But your bhakti should be there. I mean, hey Gurudev, I can remember you. I can remember you, you bless me so that I can remember you always. You know? So, Prabhupada speaking, there should be continuous, non-stop Guru Sheva should be there in Tuhar. So one genuine disciple, always doing perfect Guru Sheva, I mean, all the time doing Guru Sheva, non-stop, even he's sleeping. Even he's sleeping, He's eating, he's watching, moving, all Guru Shabha. You cannot believe I know. A genuine Guru, a genuine disciple, a genuine, a, a genuine disciple means totally harmonized with Guru Padmat. A genuine disciple means is totally harmonized with Guru Padmat. Totally harmonized. In that case, in that case, you're sleeping, you're eating, your watching, your going, all can come under the category of Guru Shava. But you cannot realize. It's a very, very secret thing. So, my Guru Padma today is a Guru Puja day, Vasa Puja day of my Guru Padma. But my Guru Padma, I, I, how I can speak my Guru Padma? How I can speak my Guru Padma? How much dedication I have, how much dedication I have for my Guru Pat Padma, how much sacrifice I have in my life for my Guru Pat Padma, so that I can say my Guru Pat Padma. I have no right to speak my Guru Pat Padma. You can try to think over and again, 
how much love you have for your Guru Pad Padma. Always and every time you should remember, you should think over and again, how much love you have for your Guru Pad Padma. That is a vital thing. Guru Pad Padma used to love you. I am less interested about that. Guru Pad Padma used to love me. Guru Pad Padma love every. Ashad Guru, I am Mahabhagavat. I am Mahabhagavat. Ashad Guru always love everybody, whole world. Whole world they think friend, no problem. But when main question is that, how much love you have for your Guru Pad Padma? I am less interested to hear Guru Pad Padma used to love me. That I don't like to hear. I like to know how much love you, you have for your Guru Pad Padma. That is a vital point. Otherwise, you can lose everything. You cannot make any progress in the way of bhajan. Jiva Goswami Pad used to say in Sandarbha, Jiva Goswami Pad writing, now at present there is ism. Is you know that day I was speaking, no? Capitalism, communism, you know, fascism. Now guruism. At present everywhere guruism. My guru, your guru, my society. Your foolish number one. Their dirty heart, their heart is so small. Their heart is so small like a crab. Crab, you know, crab? Crab, you know? You don't know crab? Are you a crab, crab? You know, so Pope was speaking, your heart is so small, so small like a crab. With this heart, Hari Bhajan is not possible. You will have to extend your heart, you will have to extend your heart up to infinity. You will have to extend your heart up to infinity, I mean you will have to extend your heart up to Balaji Maharaj Charan, Lotus Feet of Nityananda Balaram, Anantadev. You will have to extend your heart. You will have to enlarge and extend your heart up to infinity. Up to the lotus feet of Balaji Maharaj. Otherwise, you cannot do Krishna Bhajan is not so easy. I cannot cheat you. So, with this very small heart, with conservative, with this kind of conservative attitude, low mind, low in, you know, attention, Krishna Bhajan is not possible. All the secrecy of your Krishna Bhajan is your Guru Prem. How much love you have for your Guru Pat Padma. So I have no right to speak. My Guru Pat Padma is, you know, Abhir Bhaktiti. Today I am going to observe. I have no right to speak. This Mahapurus, why I speak? Sila Bhakti Vedanta Bhaman Goswami Maharaj is my Shiksha Guru in true sense. My Shiksha Guru in true sense. Now everywhere different kind of party color. Now everywhere all over the world, there is kind of conservative attitude. This kind of low-minded people are going to, you know, have some separate idea. They are all as isolated, scattered. They are all isolated and scattered. They have no idea. All busy with their ism, Guruism. You know, they are busy. So they cannot get together. Whereas Basdev Goswami already writing, whereas Basdev Goswami already writing in Srimad Bhagavadji Mahapuran, first canto, first slok. Bhagavadji Mahapuran, first canto, first, first slok, you know. Yanma dasu yatu yanme yadi taras charta savigyo sarato tene brahma idayo adi kavayo mayanti yasurayo te yo vari midam yathavinimayo. Tishargaham Misha Dhamna Seno. Eh? This sloka, you know, what is written there? Dhamna Seno Shada Nirasta Kuhakam Shatyam Param Dhimahi. Basdev Goswami is going to invite everybody. There is no party color, there is no ism, nothing. Basdev Goswami openly inviting. Openly. Basdev Goswami, no party color, no ism, nothing. No sectarian attitude. Basdha Goswami putting one open invitation. Basdha Goswami putting one open invitation to everybody, you all come. You all are invited. Let us come and together we can, together we can meditate unto the lotus feet of that Supreme Lord. Shatyam, Shatyam Param Dhimahi. Shatyam Param Dhimahi. That absolute truth is one and unique. 
That absolute truth is one and unique. Follow. Let us come together and sit. We can do meditation. Vaisab Goswami is not speaking. You cannot come. You can go away. He can come. You can come. Not that. Open invitation for everybody. You come. Shatyam param dhimahi. You know, we want to be controlled by that Supreme Divinity. We want to be controlled by Supreme Divinity. That's when we want to be controlled by Supreme Divinity. That's when we want to be controlled by pure Guru Vaishnava. Because anyway, Bhagavan directly not coming. Indirectly, Bhagavan controlling infinity world that we know. But our life, everything, we cannot see Bhagavan. At least we can see our Guru Padma, but that darshan is not good. We can see Guru Padma, but that darshan is dirty darshan. We are looking at Guru Padma, but we, this is not Guru darshan. We are looking at Guru Padma. We try to give a flower, tribute, but that is not perfect, because Guru Darshan is not there, na? We say a man there, who is eating, sleeping, oh, yes, just like me. Guru Padma is just like me. He is sleeping, eating, you know, he is also feeling sick, just like me. That's why my Hari Bhajan is not possible. Follow. Guru Darshan means Bhagavan and Guru Padma are non-different from me. Today morning time also I was speaking. The day when you can realize Bhagavan, and the name of Bhagavan non-different from each other. The day you can realize Guru Padmo and Bhagavan all non-different from each other, then you can utter pure Harinam, not before that. You can do lakhs of Harinam. You can practice, you can practice lakhs of Harinam. You can practice lakhs of Harinam. That's not a busy issue. But main point, main point, you cannot utter pure Harinam. That day you can realize Guru Padma and Bhagavan non-different from each other. When I can discover, when I can discover Bhaman Goswami Maharaj, when I can discover my Shiksha Guru Bhaman Goswami Maharaj inside the heart of Keshav Goswami Maharaj. The day I can realize the present, you know, Keshav Goswami Maharaj is present inside my Guru Maharaj. Follow. The day I can find Shridhar Goswami Maharaj is there inside my Guru Maharaj. There is, no there is no separate idea, not divisive idea. The day I can see Shridhar Maharaj is Guru Padma and Shridhar Goswami is the same. The ideology. The day you can realize Harinam and Harinam Prabhu, Harinam and Harinam Prabhu, all same, then you can start doing Harinam. Actual Harinam. And then, by doing actual Harinam, you can get the scope to enter into eternal dham. Not before that. Not before that. So, when I am going to, when I am going to give Puspanjali, when I am going to give Puspanjali unto the lotus feet of Srila Bhaman Goswami Maharaj, when I am going to offer my you know, Puspanjali unto the lotus feet of Bhaman Goswami Maharaj. Be sure, when I am going to offer my Puspanjali unto the lotus feet of Bhaman Goswami Maharaj, be sure my Puspanjali can go unto the lotus feet of my Guru Patpad. I give Puspanjali to him, but my Puspanjali can go up to the lotus feet of my Guru Patpad. That is called actually Guru Darshan. Follow. This Mahapurush, this exalted devotee, great devotee, who got full kipa of Prabhupada, but still he never wanted to identify himself. He never wanted to identify himself as the disciple of Prabhupada. He got very small age, eight or ten, he came. His schooling was not done in the, in the, in the village, a little bit. Finally, his schooling was done. Finally, his schooling was done in Bhaktivinu Thakur. He came here with grandmother, but no, he don't like to go away. He came here in Chaitanya Mahal. He came here in Chaitanya Mahal to do Parikram. Gaurdam Parikram, na? Gaurdam? After Gaurdam Parikram is over, the small boy is not ready to go. Hey, let us go. No, I cannot go. Why? 
usually, usually one small boy crying for mother, father. Eh? Usually one small boy crying for father, mother, everything. But well, so I cannot go to home. I, yeah, you cannot go, mean? Eh? Go? No, I cannot go. Then finally, Vinodda took decision to keep him with him. He said, okay, he's a small boy. You all can go after I can uh, no, make him understand. You, you all, now if you put pressure on the boy, it's not good. You go away. He can stay with me for, uh, for two or four, five days, seven days. After that, I can gradually make him understand that you can go to home. I can send him. But the boy, not at all ready to go away to home. Is the eternal parshat. A Gorang Mahaprabhu. You cannot believe. Is the eternal parshat. All his symptoms. From the very childhood. All his symptoms, activities, all. His love for Guru Vaishnav. All. He got Harinam. From Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami. He got Harinam. When he came here, long ago, he got Harinam from Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami. He was supposed to get, you know, Diksha also. But by that time, Popat lived this, lived this material world. Popat gone. And then after that, some problem uh, by, the mercy, by the mercy of Jogumaya. Not Mahamaya. We cannot say Mahamaya. By the arrangement of Jogumaya, something happened in, you know, in the society. All broken. Then this, you know, Sajjan Shevak, Brahmachari, Sajjan Sevak Brahmachari. His name was Santosh. His previous home, at home, at home, his name was Santosh. But Prabhupada gave his name Sajjan Sevak. No, actually, uh, no, actually, his name was Sajjan Sevak Brahmachari. Finally, Vinodda, Vinod Prabhu, our Vinod Bihari, I mean Keshav Goswami Maharaj, he was sent to jail. Unnecessary on false, on the strength of on the strength of false case, on the on the on the strength of false case, he was sent to jail. Not only not only Binodda, but with Binod Bihari, so many devotees, pure devotees, they were sent to jail. And when he is jail, who can cook? Because they are not going to take any bread and rice from you know government. They cannot take in jail. So somebody has to cook. Somebody needs to, but who can cook? This now Shantos, this small boy crying. But uh, my Guru Margo, my Guru Margo fasting. Sometimes they, they are taking some fruits and flour. Nobody there to cook rice and chapati. Who can? Because nobody there. That small boy crying. I cannot give anything to my Guru Margo. Then Keshav Goswami Maharaj, Vinodda told. Then Vinodda someday told, you come to me, come, come to me, don't cry, come to me. The Vinodda inside jail, Vinodda inside jail, and Sajjan Sivak outside jail. Vinodda inside jail, and Sajjan Sivak outside jail, giving mantra, diksha. Giving mantra, you come to me, I can give you diksha. So inside jail, Vinodda inside jail, and Sajjan Sivak outside jail, giving mantra, diksha. And the boy with full energy, going enthusiastic mood, going to cook and do all seva very nicely. Very nicely. Not that like you and me. Not that like you and me. Not that like you and me can think. Sajjan Siva, well, my Guru Patadu is jail. Oh, why should I take, why to, should I take X? Why should I take shelter? Not that. It's so clever. Even Guru Padma was sent to jail unnecessarily. He could realize this Sadguru. Vinodda is Sadguru. Sadguru. At the time of Second World War, at the, at the time of Second World War, Sadananda Swami, the great devotee, the great devotee, pure God, Paramansa, he was sent to, not jail actually, it was in control of government because fighting going on no? fighting going on 
world where so he has you know you know he had to stay in the custody of government long time that that doesn't mean he is a fallen soul that doesn't mean he is a fallen soul he is a great devotee so those who are enjoying kripa of guru vaishnav only and only their power of vision their darshan can open they can realize so shortly vinodha shortly vinodha and all other pure devotees those who were sent to jail they were they got they came out of jail because from because from inside jail because from inside jail vinodha give from inside jail vinodha giving instruction to some instructions to the small boy you can go to the pleader in minnapur you go to the pleader of minnapur and give my reference and try to you know engage him in the case that lawyer was very powerful that lawyer was so powerful you cannot imagine so but that lawyer was the son of a pros that lawyer he was a he was the son of a pros but that lawyer is very brainy so keshav goshi maharaj i mean vinodha from from inside jail giving instruction to santosh santosh you go immediately to that you know that pleader and speak the case we can we give give all papers he can start fighting then the pleader was so powerful and at the same time prabhupad and guru bargo going to favor them guru bargo and gorang mahapur itan all guru bargo going to favor them vinodha so for shortly they came out of jail anyway so with from the very beginning mane with vinod bihari i mean with keshav goshi maharaj from the very beginning our sajjan sevak brahmachari was there from the very beginning from the very beginning at the time of popa from then he is getting the association of this vinodha he accepted vinodha as a guru from heart he accepted vinodha as a guru in his life some day some day vinod bihari some day vinod bihari vinodha i mean keshav goshi maharaj for testing for testing the actual mood of this sajjan sevak purposely to test the actual mood of this sajjan sevak he speaking my god brother come come to me whenever keshav goshi maharaj speaking god brother to bhavan goshi maharaj he bursted into tears he started crying heavily why you are crying you are testing me you are testing me i got hari naam by chance from prabhupad but i accept you as my guru pad padma for testing me you are speaking me god brother for testing purposely vinod da speaking you know purposely is going to test him because maybe there is some pratishtha i told na that day only 6 months took shelter he going to identify i am the parsha da prabhupad only hari naam that only for 6 months going to uh, uh, you know discover and to announce that he is a you know disciple of prabhupad but a vaishnav can be known a vaishnav can be known on the basis of only one formula one vaishnav can be known on the basis of one formula that is what is that what is that konak kamini pratishtha bagini chariya chijare sei shobash कनक कमिनी कनक मान मानी पजिशन कमिनी मैन वोमेन कनक वेल्थ रिचेस कनक प्रतिष्ठा भागिनी प्रतिष्ठा इफ प्रतिष्ठा लाभ पूजा प्रतिष्ठा कमिनी कंचन नॉट गोइंग टू टच द हार्ट ऑफ एनी एन डिसाइपल देन गुरुदेव कैन स्पीक इज अ प्योर डिसाइपल प्योर डिसाइपल नॉट बी फॉर दैट full of kana kamini pratishta oh i can suppress him he is not guru i am guru who is guru i am the you know topmost preacher in the world is call is call maya is call maya a genuine preacher can never speak like that 
A genuine speak, speaker can never speak like that. Cannot speak. Because Tinadubi Bab must be there, no? Follow. Genuine preacher means like mathematics. Genuine preacher means, genuine preacher means who has mercy inside heart. Preacher means to distribute kripa. Preacher means you are sufficient kripa, overflowing kripa, you like to distribute. Preaching doesn't mean you can speak some dry philosophy in front of public and collect money and you know, clapping. Not that foolish. Preaching means you are having overflowing kippa. You are having overflowing kippa. You like to distribute them all. But if you are at all going to distribute kippa, that means you have Trinadu Vibhav. Interrelated, no? If you are going to distribute kippa, if you have overflowing kippa, that means you have Trinadu Vibhav. Without Trinadu Vibhav, Guru Padma cannot give you full kippa. So interrelated. Tinadu Vibhav is there. So, Tinadu Vibhav is there. Due to Tinadu Vibhav, you cannot bear the pain of this material world. So, you are going to distribute kipa, what you got from your Guru Padma, among others. This is called preaching. Follow what I say. This way, actually, it is interrelated. Without Tinadu Vibhav, you cannot see. So, so, Sila Vinodda finally came out of mud, there are so many police cases, everything. After that he was free, that he, you know, established, he established Gauriya Vedanta Samiti, he established Gauriya Vedanta Samiti. He established Gauriya Vedanta, Gauriya Vedanta in Calcutta, Bosphara land. There also, Sajjan Sevak Brahmachari was there. All along, all along he was there with Vinod, Vinodda, I mean, Paramita Kesha Goswami Maharaj was. Finally, he started doing. After that, Maharaj, after that, Kesha Goswami Maharaj, after that, Kesha Goswami Maharaj took sannyas from Sridhar Goswami Maharaj. After that, Kesha Goswami Maharaj took, you know, procured, you know, one land where we go, Tegori Paralen, Navadip. They are the Vedanta Samiti, big. They make temple there. They make temple there. After that, preaching started. After that, but main right hand of, main, I mean right hand of Keshav Goswami Maharaj was the Bhaman Goswami Maharaj. So then onward, different kind of preaching started. And on those days, on those days, there was no divisive, there is no divisive attitude. This is our, my temple. This is your temple. You go away. You have no, this, kind of, this kind of mentality was not there. That's why when Devananda Gorimas was started, there was no sufficient money was not there. Sufficient money was not there. Whereas Parmiya Madhav Goswami Maharaj, he procured, he procured a big, big amount of land. Whereas Parmiya Madhav Goswami Maharaj, he procured, he procured a big amount of land. There, they used to cultivate sabji, you know, sabji, flower, fruits, flower, sabji. And Bhaman Goswami Maharaj, I mean, this Sajjan Seva, this Bhaman Maharaj, he used to come from his temple by walking. By walking, not by rickshaw. By walking, coming, crossing the river, coming to Chaitanya Gauri Mart, and going to garden and you know where he is going to collect fruits and flower and all sabji everything nobody going to put some objection why you are taking you are from that mod you are from that mod you have no right to take sabji this that not speaking bound much coming with one big basket and collecting fruits and flower sabji and going to put on head and going to his temple but now there is political issue why is speaking this? Why is speaking about Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Prabhupada? If you are going to speak about the topics of Bhakti Siddhanta, they become very angry. They cannot digest. Their digestion power, their digestion power is so low. Their digestion power is so low, even if you speak one single Siddhanta Vijara Prabhupada, they feel sick. Why you are speaking this? Why not you speak some cheap thing which you are following? 
our character, our behavior, all activities, as, as per standard. Bhaman Goswami Maharaj used to speak. Bhaman Goswami Maharaj used to speak to Bharati Maharaj. Bhaman Goswami Maharaj used to speak to Bharati Maharaj. Maharaj, what to speak? Bhaman Goswami Maharaj, one day speaking to our Bharati Maharaj. Maharaj, I have seen three generations. Bhaman Maharaj speaking to Bharati Maharaj. Maharaj, I have seen three generations. I mean, Prabhupada and Guru Varga. Then after this, after that, three generations. But this kind of dilution, this kind of dilution of Bhakti Siddhanta Vishar, of Bhakti Siddhanta, Pope, Bhakti Siddhant, I have never seen. In fact, they like to stop preaching about Prabhupada. In fact, in fact, at present, in, in fact, at present, they are less interested to speak anything about Bhakti Siddhant, Saraswati Goswami, Jagu Prabhupada. Less interested. Because if at all they are speaking, they cannot hide their naked picture. If they are going to speak about what Prabhupada told, they, their naked Picture can be exposed. That's why they like to cover it. No, better you don't speak about, about Prabhupada. But our Gauriya Mart, Gauriya Siddhanta mean Prabhupada, Bhakti Thakur. Without, without Bhakti Muna Thakur, without Prabhupada, we don't like to speak any Harikatha because it is not at all Harikatha. Your Harikatha is not at all Harikatha. I can prove mathematically because you are not speaking about Prabhupada. You are not speaking about Bhakti Siddhanta. Your Harikatha is not in Parampara. You are not discussing about the Parampara Siddhanta Bisha. You are making some separate school. You are going to make some separate school. You are Mayavadi. Actually, you are not Vaishnava. You are not Acharya. You are Mayavadi. You are Mayavadi. Popa speaking, more or less, Popa speaking, more or less, we are deviated from the track of Guru Padma. More or less, more or less, we are, more or less, our heart is contaminated with Mayavad Bishar. Because we have, we have less faith. We have less faith, less faith in Guru Vishnu. Not that we believe Guru Vishnu 100%. Hello, what do you mean by bhajan? What do you mean by your success of bhajan? You know? What do you mean by success of your bhajan? Success of your bhajan means, your belief in Guru Vaishnava cent percent. You don't understand. Your brain cannot catch. Your success and your success of bhajan means you have cent percent belief in Guru Vaishnava, Bhagavan. That's why Bhakti Thakur in Kirtan. That's why Bhakti Thakur in Kirtan writing Vaishnava Vishas Vitti Hok Khane Khane. Hey Bhagavan, you bless me. So that I can increase my faith. So that I can increase my faith in Guru Vaishnava. Connect on every fraction of second. Bhakti Mata is praying to Supreme Lord, O oh Prabhu, you bless me. So that each and every fraction of second, I can increase the faith unto the lotus seat of Guru Vaishnava. That is the secrecy of your bhajan. You like to make a U-turn. I know you like to make a U-turn from Gauriya Mart. You like to make a U-turn from Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. You like to make a separate turn. Because you are Mayavadi. If you fail, if you fail to follow your Guru Padma, if you fail to follow your Guru Padma 100% in total, if you fail to follow your Guru Padma in total, then surely Mayavad contamination is there. Otherwise, why you are deviated from Guru Padma? Why you are not feeling comfortable? Why? Why you are not feeling comfortable with Guru Padma? Because you are deviated from your track. You are Mayavadi. So, Papa speaking, first of all, if you are deviated from Guru Padma, then one disease, one disease can arise. One disease. What is that? Non-cooperation. One disease, first of all, one disease can one disease can develop. What is that? Non-cooperation. I cannot do. You do your seva. I cannot do. You can do your seva. I know practically. In front of Prabhupada, in front of you know all you know, Guru, disciples say, You can do your seva. I cannot do. I cannot do your seva. Non-cooperation. First of all, you can develop non-cooperation. 
After that, you can start competition with Guru Path Padma. Try to remember. Practically, you can show. Practically, you can show who all Acharya, they started competition with, you know, with his Gurudev. I can show it practically. If I cannot prove, I can stop my Harikatha. I can practically show. They are deviated, you see. They are Siddhanta, what they are writing, what they are speaking. All rubbish. They are not in line with Prabhupada. Bhakti Siddhanta Sal. This way, first of all, non-cooperation. Second step, second disease. Second disease, competition. Third disease, directly confrontation with Guru Padma. They can start fighting with Guru Padma. Practically. In the life of Prabhupada, Bhakti Siddhanta Sal, you see, many, some of his disciples, they are going out, leaving Prabhupada, and they are fighting with Prabhupada. They are fighting with Prabhupada, writing all rubbish against Gaudiya Mart. I can show you practically. So how you can say they are the eternal parsad of Guru Pat Padma? How you can say? What do you mean by eternal parsad? Eternal parsad, what do you mean? Eternal parsad mean? Eternal parsad mean those eternal parsad mean those who are coming with Gurudev and going away. Like Gaur Parsad. Follow. Narthama Thakur, Prabhupada, Bhakti Mahatma, they are all Parshat. Though they are coming late, though they are coming late, but still, they are all Parshat of Gauranga Mahapur. Those who are going to implement, those who are very efficient, those who are very efficient, very clever, those who are very clever, those who are very expert in the implementation of the desire of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Those who can implement, those who can implement the heart of Gauranga Mahaprabhu, is called Parshad of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Those who can implement the heart of Prabhupada, Dakti Siddhanta only we can say they are Parshad. Otherwise, they are not Parshad. Otherwise, they are not Parshad. So, this Bhaman Goswami Maharaj, if I go on speaking about the glories of Bhaman Goswami Maharaj, you can go mad. You can go mad, you cannot realize how possible. How possible that a devotee can have this kind of tolerance? How possible that Tinadu Bisunichana Tarurupa Saishana Amanina Marandana Kirtaniya Shadahuri was practically seen, practically seen in the life of Mangas. So much tolerance, so much perseverance, so much tolerance, so much efficiency, but still never going to express. So much tolerance. Is going to take sabji, everything from you know, you know, in a basket. Devananda Guru. But still, before, if I like to discuss, long before, when Bhaman Goswami Maharaj was there in Chaitanya Mart, from Chaitanya Mart, when he is growing up, some devotee, Narahari Prabhu, asking, Prabhu, you can go to Chapahati. You can go to Chapati to bring something from there. Well, yes, I can go. He's going there. Wonder. Taking also fruits and flowers, heavy basket on head, very slowly running. No car, nothing, no van. Total, whole way coming to Chaitanya Mat. They are not feeling thirsty. They are not feeling hungry. They are not feeling disturbance. Why? Why? They are not feeling any disturbance, not feeling hungry, not feeling thirsty. Why? Because they are, they are residing unto the lotus feet of Guru Padma, 100%. All the time they are staying, all the time they are staying unto the lotus feet of Guru Padma. Sir Vaman Gosima. So when Keshav Gosima left to this material world, before that, only for this case, only for this case, we can say that he was the perfect Acharya. Elected Acharya, selected Acharya, Prabhupada never wanted to speak this way. Acharya cannot be selected or elected, Prabhupada told. But in this case, we can say it is not wrong. Very perfect. Because Bhaman Gosri Maharaj and Kesav Gosri Maharaj, I can show you thousands of examples. Not one example. All their writing, all their Siddhanta speaking, all activities, all same. 
Only the difference is that Keshav Goswami Maharaj is heavy, speaking very heavily, Bhavan Goswami Maharaj is speaking heavily. Only the difference. Only that difference. Otherwise, all Siddhanta, everything. Even God brothers, all his God brothers with him, he need to organize. Bhavan Goswami used to say, my Guru Padma make me Acharya of Papa. You know, is the order of Guru Padma. So I need to carry. I think, I think I am the top, I am the, I am the main servant. Bhavan Goswami used to say, I think I am the main servant of Devananda Gauri Mart. I think Bhavan Goswami was speaking, that I think I am the number one and servant of Devananda Gauri Mart. That's why Guru Padma engaged me. So, Acharya mean at present as my temple. Who are you? But they never used to sing. They think it is the temple of Guru Padma and Bhagavan. We are servant. But at present, my temple. Who are you to come here? This kind of mood. Follow. Under their control. So, Bhaman Gusi Maharaj started acting as Acharya very effectively. Bhaman Gusi Maharaj started acting as Acharya very effectively. After Pahupad, after Pahupad, if you ask me, if after Pahupad, if you ask me, who was successful to make very, very nice, nice disciple, whose preaching was very effective. So I must speak the name of Vinod Bihari, Vinodda. Because luckily he got all nice, nice disciples. Most of them, they are very expert in Siddhanta Vichar, Seva, all. But all other places, not so. Only in Devananda Gauri. After Prabhupada. After Prabhupada, if you calculate, you can find so many important disciples came in the life of Keshav Goswami Maharaj. Devananda Gauri Maharaj means man, very... But at present, I don't know the situation anyway. So, he started acting as Acharya very mutually. He never wanted to insult his god brother. Even any place like Parikram, like Parikram going on, no? Gaur Mandal or Braj Mandal, anywhere. But some, suppose going to somewhere to speak Harikatha, God Brother there, Bhaman Goswami used to speak, you can speak Harikatha. You can speak Harikatha. He used to speak to God Brother. He can speak Harikatha. Oh, you can speak. He used to give honor to his God Brothers all the time. All the time. He used to honor his God Brother. So, he was very simple. In this Vesa Puja day, in this Vesa Puja day, I mean, this Tithi, Bhaman Goswami Maharaj used to go away from temple, because otherwise they can worship me. He used to go away with the Sevak from temple, to some other place. Next day he used to come. Follow. He is a very, you know, but he, there is no disparity in his heart. He never used to think he is a very rich disciple. He is a very poor disciple, never. Very, very poor disciple. Very poor. No money, nothing. He used to go to his house. He used to go to his house without any reaction. He used to go to his house. Follow. Very poor, but he used to go. In Assam, our Paramiya Madhugusi Maharaj, Paramiya Parambiya Madhugusi Maharaj and our Bhaman Gusi, they are the main preacher in Assam. Our Keshav Gusi Maharaj. Keshav Gusi Maharaj, Bhaman Gusi Maharaj, Bhakti to the Madhav Gusi Maharaj and Bhakti Vala they are the main preacher in whole Assam. Assam was full of jungle. Assam was full of jungle. But they still they took trouble to go different villages of Assam to preach Harikatha there. I mean to preach, and the many, many disciples from Assam, they uh, uh, used to come on those days. At present, I don't know the situation anyway. I can say some uh, very special thing, one or two. So, one day, Maman Gusima went to, went to some Meghalaya, one place. Assam on Meghalaya, Megha border there. He went for preaching, went there for preaching, a big, massive, big preaching. But there was a big Dharma Shabha assembly. Thousands of people, thousands of people supposed to come. But by chance, 
that day, very torrential rain started. Very torrential rain. All roads and, you know, all water logging. He cannot go. All water filled, all water, full of water. Then, Baman Goswami asking to God Brother, Baman Goswami asking to God Brother, let us go for preaching. Because we will have to speak Harikata Dhyan, na? But all other God Brother, you can go. You can go yourself. Who can go? This kind of rain, nobody can come. Baman Goswami speaking, well, raining is there. Torrential raining. But we promised them to speak Harikatha. Let us go. But all other God Brother, you can go. Who can come there? Torrential rain. You know. Who can come? Baman Goswami, okay. If you are not going, then I can go alone. Uh, taking the cloth up, taking the cloth up and taking one umbrella. One umbrella and all cloth is up to this point. And going to this field where the harikata is due, well, but it is very and uh, excellent. The place of harikata is full of full of audience. Even even Baban Maj couldn't expect that how possible this torrential rain. This kind of people in water standing to hear Arikata. Bhaman Goswami was going there, sitting in the Vyasasan. No God brother there, only one. He is speaking two hours at a time. Two hours at a time speaking Harikatha, continuously. People were so impressed. So many people took shelter onto a lotus feet of Bhaman Goswami. So many people. Because we promise you to speak Harikatha. We cannot stop. Uh, due to rain, earthquake. When we announce Harikatha, we cannot stop. Na. There is rain, earthquake, everything happened. But still, I must come. People testing me. There is rain, heavy, in the morning time, they cannot come. Now they are in evening time. But I with umbrella coming here. They say, Maharaj, you, we thought you are not coming. And I am coming. Why not? I am the disciple of Guru Vargana. So the same blood is there. So how we can avoid speaking? This way, so many miracles, so many, so many excellent miracle, you know, some incident there. Like the marriage of ghost. Like the marriage of ghost. Someday he went to some place. I cannot speak this kind of Siddhanta anyway, but still I am speaking this fact. Baman Goswami is going to some place. Last train, last train in the night time. He fell other train, last time he taking train and coming to a very, very remote place, village. Then with, you know, with, you know, very full, full patience with Harinam, he's going. Some place he's discovered, there is so many light, everything, marriage party there. And by chance they see Baman Maharaj. They call, O oh, Sadhu, O oh, Sadhu, please come. Because our priest Pujari is not coming because our marriage ceremony, ceremony is you know, disturbed. You please come. They are requesting, I have some others. No, no, you please come. They are requesting Mount Mai and taking to this place. The fact is a fact. Fact is fact. Not story. There, Bhaman Maharaj is going to arrange marriage between one <laughs> marriage. Everything after that. After that, they arrange one car. One car means not, you know, vehicle. But the car is, you know, that horse, horse, horse car. They arrange. And they put all different kind of fruits and flowers in the car. Follow. They put all nice, nice fruits. You can go, if you go to market, it's not possible. Which is not different place. Like some fruits I got in Siliguri. Because it is available in Darjeeling. Some fruits available in Assam. Different kind of new, new fruits and fresh of fruits and flower. They put some basket. They put, Thakur Masai, okay, we are in a congratulation to you. You are helping us to arrange the marriage. After that, Baman was going to that place, finally with the car. And going to that room and talk, talk. And are going to knock the door. Some old lady coming out. Well, you are so late, Maharaj. Well, what to do? I failed the train. Last train I come. And still you should, you are, still you are late, more late. 
But actually, there was some marriage party. Where, where? Some marriage party, they catch me forcefully. So I was bound to arrange the marriage ceremony. Marriage ceremony? Where? But that place, Ari, it is a place of ghost. Nobody there. In the morning time, they search, there is no light, nothing, only back end. But the lights, marriage ceremony. So many incidents, I can say. In, in Vrindavan also. One incident, I can speak more. In Vrindavan, in Vrindavan, in Kesigat, you know Kesigat? In Kesigat, one disciple of Bhaman Gosima, he used to love me. He, he is from Assam. He, you know, I know his name. He used to love me very much. You know, Parishananda, his name. He used to stay there at that, at that time in Vrindavan. He used to learn Sanskrit. By chance, he was going through Kesiga at that time. You know, follow. Then one ghost going to follow him. Ghost going to follow him is not going to, ghost not going to catch him, but almost big problem. Because every night, that ghost, lady ghost, coming in the room of that Brahmachari. Every night, everybody know in Sanatan Gauriyamad, Rup Sanatan, you can ask them. It's famous history. Every day, that ghost, lady ghost, used to come in the room of that Brahmachari and used to threat him. If you speak that I am coming, I can kill you. He is not speaking. Finally, he shipped to an other place. Other place he shipped from temple. They are also is going to disturb. Finally, he was feeling disturbance. He is speaking, what to? Finally, he was feeling disturbance. One day, that lady ghost already come in the because there was nobody he is alone in the temple all day he is reading and night time is going to close that you know door but finally he discovered from the veranda that the lady ghost sitting in the staircase and crying why you are crying big problem you are going to follow me you are going to disturb me but he is not going to obey finally what happened that Brahmachari, he was bound to speak in front of one sannyasi. That this is the case I am going to die. Because day by day, day by day, his health is, because he is going to get the association of that a lady, lady ghost, na? his body becomes slim. Very health become very weak. He was bound to speak. But the ghost knew it. Ghost coming and going to kill that you know, Brahmachari. Why you speak? I can kill you today. I can kill you today. Why you speak? Because they can know everything. Finally, he is um, uh, begging for apology, apology and asking, what you need? How you can get delivery you speak? Finally, he is speaking, if you, get, if you can give the water was of a pure devotee, if you can give the water was of a pure devotee, then I can, then I can go away. Like the case of Ramanuchaja, you know? You know? That ghost of Madurai. So the king speaking, I can give the water was Jadavaj. No! I can give the water was of Jadavaj. No! You can give the water was that the small uh, small devotee. Ramanuchajo. Lakshman Deshi. Hari? Lakshman Deshi? Yes. If you give water was, I can go away. Same case. Then that ghost speaking. If you have the water was of a pure devotee, I can give. But who pure devotee? I can know. Huh? I can give the water was of some devotee, uh, Acharya. I can give. But no. I, I don't like to name. I don't like to name. That person asking, I, you can give the water of us, uh, water was of your Guru Path Padma. Bhaman Gusimha. But Bhaman Maharaj is not there. He is in Bengal. How I can give you? Better this Acharya there, I can give? No, I cannot take. Finally, one devotee, he discovered, finally Parishandana discovered that water was of Guru Padma was there with one Brahmachari. By chance. He said, I have. Then you please give me. He gave this water was to that, you know, that lady ghost. Lady ghost is taking and from then onward that ghost vanishes. 
So many miracles I don't like to speak. I am interested about Siddhanta Vichara of Bhavangasi Maharaj. We never saw, we never, we never saw any wrong Siddhanta in the life of Dandana. We never saw even a single wrong Siddhanta. We never saw even a single wrong Siddhanta in the life of Bhavangasi Maharaj. Yes, totally in the line. Totally perfect Siddhanta Vichara. All his speech, Harikatha, all writings, all perfect. That's why I am bound to say he is low, he is no less than, he is no less than Srila Bhaman Goswami Maharaj is no less than our Guru Bhargava. I am bound to speak. I cannot take risks. I cannot take risks to speak this kind of Siddhanta about anybody. I cannot take risks to speak this kind of Siddhanta about anybody. I cannot speak. Only about Bhaman Goswami Maharaj. I am bound to speak. He, Bhaman Sila, Bhaman Goswami Maharaj is no less, no less than our Guru Varga. I mean, you can think he is just like our Guru Varga. Just like Guru Varga. So Siddhanta. He was the, he was the dictionary of Gauriya. I know, Siddhanta. If you ask one sloka, if you ask one sloka, Maharaj, this sloka where it is actually fifth canto, seventh chapter you can find. Bhavan Goswami Maharaj was a dictionary of Siddhanta Vichar. So nice devotee. Not a matter of joke, so great devotee. We must remember. We must remember. We must remember Bhavan Goswami Maharaj. His Siddhanta. You don't know Bengali, that's why he used to write also English. But usually, he, usually, he, his mood was, usually his mood was, usually his mood was very humble mood. He used to say, I have no right to give Diksha to anybody. I have no capacity to go to outside. I am very small man, I can stay here and speak Siddhanta. He never thought I am a big Siddhanta. But whereas the fact is that, Fact, his Siddhanta Vichar was so accurate, so accurate that we can say that Siddhanta Vichar is just equal to Vinod Bihari Brahmachari or Keshav Goswami Maharaj. His Siddhanta Vichar is just equal to Prabhupada. I am not making any story. You learn Bengali, I can, so, I can give you so many writings of Bhavan Goswami Maharaj. So many protest note, protest note. So many writings again. I can give you so many writings of Bhavan Goswami Maharaj. You can go mad. This Siddhanta possible? Without, you know, perfect, you know, Guru Parampara? Not possible. So, all glories to Srila Bhavan Goswami Maharaj. Uh, today is the Abhirbhaktiti of Srila Bhavan, Bhakti Vedanta Bhavan Goswami Maharaj, my Shiksha Guru. I like to get Kripa from him. I expect nothing. Only Kripa from him. Uh, this way, we like to stop here. So, the sloka I started with, you know, I can speak only one line at least. I know, Durga me pathi me, Durga me pathi me, Andhasya skalat pada gatera muhur. This road condition is very, very dangerous. This road condition is very, very dangerous place. Very sleepy, very, very thrown, so many problems are there. Durga me, Durga mean very dangerous. Very dangerous. Durga me, Pati me, and at the same time I am blind. At the, same, uh, at the same time I am blind. So the road condition is very bad. Durga, very dangerous way. Forest, you know, or hilly place. Durga me, Pati me, Andhasya. Repeatedly I am going to fall down. I am in sleep. I have no other support than. I have no other support alternative than the kipa of my Guru Vaishnava. Durga me pati me andasho skalat pad gatir muhur. You know, sha kripa joshti. I like to get the stick of kipa from Guru Varga so that I can fix up my determination. Follow. All my footsteps should be, you know, proper. Durga me pati me andasso skalat pada gatir muhur shaki pa justi dhanid 
शौकिपा जुष्टि दानेन सन्त सन्तु अवलम्बन दुर्गमे पथी में अंधस्यो स्खलोत्द गतिर्मुर् शौकिपा जुष्टि दानेन सन्त सन्तु अवलम्बनम वाछा कल्पदुर्वश्य के बासिंद पतितान पावन भविष्ण भ्यो नमो